Yeah! There we go. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to episode 30 of 8-Bit Brawl. It is going to be an awesome time tonight. Hey, Caleb's here. He's tuned in and ready. We're going to start this off the way we always start this party off. That is with Commissioner WK. Hey, We're all going to get late. Yes, eight months in a row. Oh, thanks, dude. You are awesome, Caleb. I love you. Oh, let's get this party started. If the controller... God damn it. <laughs> Probably should have had this controller turned on before we started the stream. Probably a good idea. How's everyone doing tonight? How's everyone's Wednesday night? There we go. Alright. Let's get this party started. Commissioner WK has got something to say. I love you too, Caleb. Wonder what this is about. You're all out of ass. Here we go. Let's find out. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Favorite. Welcome to 8-Bit Brawl. We've got quite the show for you tonight. We're going to have all the titles on the line. Except, nope, all the titles are on the line tonight. And uh, we're going to have some triple threat matches. We're going to have a fatal four-way. And we're going to also have some tag team action. Let's see. The main event tonight is going to be Mike defending his 8-Bit Championship against Kevin. My, that's myself. And Ryan. Triple threat match. What's going to happen there? we are also got all kinds of stuff. Lucy's here. Link's here. Yeah. So let's get this party started. Let's get some matches going. We're going to start this party off with the tag team world champions, 8-Bit Geek, going up against former champions, Sexy Cops. <laughs> There we go, folks. The match is the match card has been laid out. Let's see. Let me make sure I get this right in. And what a lineup for this card, starting with a bang. Stay right where you are. All right, cool. It's loading. So yeah, how's everyone's Wednesday going, oh, man? Over. Mine's this pretty awesome. We're almost through the, the week. And, and Friday is payday. I need money to give to bills. Man. We have to get a we have to get surgery for Reggie. He's got a little bump on his side. And um, they tested it and they said it's mostly like fatty cells and there's some round cells in there they want to just get out of there. So they're gonna do some surgery, and they're gonna—he's got a little like skin tag on his eye. They're gonna remove that. They're gonna do a couple things. So it's gonna be expensive, though. Basically, this dog's costing us over like two grand. <laughs> but he's a—he's our pup. We love him. So yeah, money is gonna be non-existent for a little while. <laughs> I'm glad I had fun while it, with it while it lasted. It's been staying at that. It's not moving. I hope this game isn't broken. <laughs> it's not loading. <laughs> Ow. I hope I don't have to restart this already. At least the match didn't start. I have to go through all that again. Yeah, I don't know why this isn't moving. And I can't exit out. Of course. Yeah, I'm just going to restart. Really weird. Got to hard restart it. There we go. That was weird. I've never had that happen. 
So yeah, hi everybody. Let's uh, try this all over again. Welcome to 8-Bit Pro. No, I'm not going through that again. Uh, so yeah, my Wednesday's pretty cool. Uh, I was alone at work today. Uh, one dude's on vacation. The other dude was touring another uh, facility. So yeah, it, was, it wasn't too bad. I was busy. I helped the time fly at least. So glad to be out. Glad to be hanging out with you beautiful folks. Uh, hopefully we get some wrestling done today. That'd be awesome. How about that? How about that? All right, let's get this back, back in action. Ooh, yeah. Ah, oh, there must have been some kind of update, like, in the middle of all of this. Well, shit. Love this one. Emma. I miss Emma. I'm glad I got to see her wrestle in Ring of Honor. Like, that was pretty cool. Tennille Dashwood is her uh, actual name. Fantastic in the ring, too. done man this did not do this earlier it sucks sorry to waste you guys time there this is like a match on its own Kevin versus his PC and right now I'm losing <laughs> how's everything sound by the way everything sound good look good and all that might as well tweak the stream while I'm at it yeah uh, well this is on PC but I saw that, like the Xbox client was down or something like that. Well, there we go. We're over halfway done. So, yeah. You guys all have any plans for the weekend? I don't think I have any plans. So, I'm not sure though. I'm always that guy that I'm like, oh, I don't think I have any plans. And then, like, Saturday will show up and, like, Facebook will send me all these notifications. They're like, you're supposed to be at four different events today. Other than the game, you're fine. Awesome. Thanks, Link. Thanks for checking. 70%. Yeah. So anyone going to be watching uh, SummerSlam and TakeOver this weekend? We will be, Mike and I will be in the chat um, for the most part in the... Uh, discord watching it live with you folks so if you guys want to join us feel free i plan to cancel plans <laughs> yeah the game broke itself it was the smoziest of smoz finishes oh i've got my back scratch yeah here we go back scratch your cam oh oh that feels so good i've had this back scratcher since i was like a teenager Oh, this is going to be handed down throughout generations, if there's generations. <laughs> oh, the game says it's ready to go, but I just can't stop scratching. This is quality entertainment, folks. Oh, kill season, what's up? Welcome to the party. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Ah. Oh. That feeling after you get your scratch, back scratched, it's nice. Back scratcher! Back scratcher! Let's try this again. Hopefully this loads this time. Otherwise, it's going to be a really awkward episode of 8-Bit uh, Brawl this week. You came in just at the right time there, Kill Season. I'm sure we will not soon forget. Both these superstars have earned it. Now let's see who gets it done. Oh no, it's doing it again. Are we gonna have a problem? Or oh, there it goes. God, thank, thank Lemmy.
Let's do it. Now it's gonna freeze there. Are we just... Did the game not get patched or something? Or did it get patched and fall apart? It's weird. It doesn't look like there's any updates for it. There we go. I don't know why it's taking so long to load. Like, it normally doesn't take this long. There we go. Now let's get the first match. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Blame the patch. Snap, former tag team champions. Opportunity, Byron, is the title will be on the line here. You're Sexy right, cops. Judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crown here tonight. <laughs> Caleb is fucking hyped. Kale is. Without a doubt, a big opportunity for him here tonight, Byron. Yeah, it really is, Michael. And he doesn't seem like the type of guy who's. Here we go. Here's their chance to win back the like tag team I championships. Like to the limit here tonight. Oh, forearm, forearm. Oh, and a hug. Say yeah. Here we go, your current tag team champions, Jer and Doug. Together, they are the 8 bit geek. <laughs> Excuse me. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. Doug, too right. cool to wear the belt to the ring. I think there's a better way to start this <laughs> than with this match right here. Hey, what's up, Mantis? Welcome to the stream. It is, isn't it? I'd like to extend a very Merry Christmas to our WWE Universe watching at home. Merry Christmas, everyone. And I hope that Santa was good to everybody out there. Even you, Corey. I hope he brings you coal, Byron. Nope, there goes Chubb rolling out of the ring. <laughs> they haven't defended the tag team titles in a while so they might be a little bit rusty <laughs> oh and here goes the pyro they brought from home because we can't afford pyro here at 8-bit brawl but if you want a BYOP feel free <laughs> Ryan does the same thing. They're going to name everyone in the ring. Tag Team Championships on the line tonight. Sexy Cops versus the 8-Bit Geek. The Bear, Lady Destroyer, Caleb Payne. <laughs> Introducing the Challenger. That's what the Patreon goes to. <laughs> That's true. 477 pounds, the bear, and Lady Destroyer, Caleb Payne, the Dangerous Alliance. The bear, Lady <laughs> Destroyer, Caleb Payne, and introducing the champions. At a combined Where did Doug's belt come from? <laughs> It just it just came out of nowhere. The tag team champions, the Bear, Jeremy Jones, and Doug the Thug McDonald, the Geeks. There you go. 
Will they be able to retain tonight? Titles are on the line. Now get out of there, ref. Let this match start. Like every other 8-Bit Geek Brawl match, it is a, an extreme rules match. Anything goes. Oh, right off the bat. 8-Bit Geek taking the early advantage. Backbreaker to Kale. Leg drop on to Chubrub's arm. Go with the grip. Jeremy with a hard right, right into Kale's face. Looks like he's going to get us just a pickup power bomb. Oh! Power bomb right there. Ooh, knee to the back of the head. Not good for Chubrub. I can't wait to see his plan of attack. What do you expect from him? It's the sexy cops are going to have to put up some kind of defense. There we go. Kale turning around. Knees Jeremy right in the face. Chubrub, though still kind of shaken. Oh, no, he gets a right on Doug. Shoulder check. There you go. Now the sexy cops are in control, but for how long? They're going up against multiple champions here. Oh, a forearm right to the head of Jeremy. Doug getting come back on Chubrub, but no Chubrub reversing into a jawbreaker. Drop kick. Hard left coming from Kale. Oh, Kale running the ropes. Body drop right on to Jeremy from the 8-bit gig. Doug axe handle the back of Chubrub. Oh, Russian leg sweep. He still has plenty of fight left in him. Oh, Doug reverses, falls on Kale. Kale has to go out and recover. It's just Doug and Chubrub right now in the ring. He lands the overhand. Jeremy and Kale are both recovering outside. They may grab a weapon one out there since it all attack. is legal. Doug the bug. Oh, Doug's looking to finish this early. Kale better get in there. Looking for the quick pin. There you go. Kale breaks it up early. Gets Doug while he was... Oh, in a DDT while he was taunting. That's what you get for taunting too soon. Doug going up against that turnbuckle. Oh, into a power bomb. A little bit uneasy here. So many variables for him to take into account here in this Chubrub is hurting. Kale's hurting. Doug just reversed that. Not one, but two oh. Maneuvers, yet his opponent barely has a scratch. Oh, working on that Fast neck of Kale. I know it's somewhat... Doug looking to finish it because Chubrub's outside the ring. Kale's all alone in there with Doug and Jeremy. What are we going to do? Oh, Kale blocks it. Punch the rib cage. Whoa. Power bomb. Wait, what? That was a reversal from Doug, apparently. Chubrub coming back in to take on Jeremy. Oh, and he gets Jeremy up on his shoulders. Oh. You have to like his chances here. There you go. Chubrub, a house of fire over here. Oh, deadlifts. Doug. Now it's Kale and Chubbs versus Doug. Chubrub, what is he going to do here? Oh, we do a backbreaker. He's going up. He might be going for his moonsault, but Kale quickly picks up Doug to give him a hard right. Doug is knocked out. They should have taken advantage of the pin, but they want they got something to settle because they want to bring Jeremy back into this. Hey, Ryan! What's up, buddy? Oh, deep six from Jeremy. Bad decision. They should have pinned Doug when they had the chance. Oh, Jeremy with the reversal. What is Chubb doing in the corner there? Oh, there you go. Chubra breaks up the count. Doug's down on the outside. Jeremy's all alone with the two. There you go. Kale gets him with a lariat. Chubra taunting. Oh, there's Kale's finisher. He's going for that pin. No one to stop him. Two. Jeremy was able to kick out of that. Chubrub's going to go up. Doug's going to meet him there. Oh. Oh, hard right. Doug fall, or Jeremy falls down like a ton of bricks. Oh. Doug got knocked out somehow. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. 
Oh, bends those fingers. Chubb rubs asleep on the turnbuckle. There you go. Oh, kind of took over for uh, Kale there. Oh, what are we going to do here? Samoan drop. He's going back up. Kale. This could be it. He's going for his moonsault. No, it's a body splash. Don't be surprised if we crown a new champ here. There's the cover. Can he do it? Oh, and Jeremy breaks it up. Kale let him get past him. I don't know why. It's going awesome so far, Ryan. How is yours? We had a bit of technical difficulty starting this up, but we're doing fine right now. Oh, Doug with a backbreaker to Kale. Chub Rub running in and outside the ring for because he's glitched or something. No. Oh, he's going for the glorious DDT. Chub Rub is down. This could be a title retention from the 8-Bit Geek if Chub Rub doesn't get in there and stop this, but that could be it for Kale. Oh, Chubbs. Oh, he was not in time. And the 8-Bit Geek retains the tag team championships. If Chub Rub could have been just a little bit faster. Nice. That's awesome, Ryan. Oh, that's what should have finished Doug. But they didn't pin him. They went after Jeremy, and that could have cost him the titles. So <laughs> Doug chiming in. Retaining the titles. There you go. Live to fight another day. Your tag team champions, the 8-Bit Geek, Jeremy and Doug. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Jeremy looking lovely into, lovingly into Jeremy's ear. Doug looking into Jeremy's ear. Now let's see what the next match is going to be for the night. We've got a this fatal four-way to determine the next... Don't touch that remote. Okay. We have a fatal four-way coming up to determine the next number one contender for the Saga Championship. So these are people who lost in the first round. And maybe the second, too, with uh, Willie Roma there. So it's going to be interesting. Like I said, winner of this match gets to move on to fight the winner of tonight's Saga Championship match, which is between Sawbone and Space Jesus. So the winner of this goes up against one of those two next week. Love this. The best part of TJP is this theme song. Yeah, I wonder what update like did the loading times in, man. This takes even longer now. Mark Kenobi being the first entrant here. He's gonna show off his footwork for the W for the 8-bit universe. Making his way to the ring from out of this world, weighing in at 220 pounds, Mark Ken. About to get the slide. To me, guys, like this too sexy. They're not the only ones, Cole. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another. You got like the predator stuff on the ramp. <laughs> also, guys, I would say that competing on Christmas has to be a tremendous thrill. I can't speak what it's like to be in the ring. Apparently, it's Christmas uh, this week. Last to be here at ringside on such a special evening. <laughs> Marky's feeling it. All 
All right, who's going to be the next one to come out in this fatal four-way? Oh, his mortal enemy, Fry Geary. Looking a little light without his title. Even though people are booing him, they still love to say yes. And his opponent, <laughs> I love how that changes. Really? All right. That is that may be a little too ambitious and for this match. Any further, I'd like to extend a very Merry Christmas to our WWE Universe watching at home. Uh, did it right in front of Mark Kenobi. And I hope that Santa was good to everybody out there. Even you, Corey. I hope he brings you coal, Byron. We're going we're gonna to hear that after every match, aren't we? <laughs> Oh, here comes your boy, PN15. And from out of this world, weighing in at 100. Getting down with that beat. This cyborg, PN. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off. <laughs> In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. And before I forget, oops, allow oops, me to oops. wish everybody out there a very merry They Christmas. really want you to know that it's Christmas. I can't help but wonder what I did wrong to have to be spending Christmas sitting next to you two. <laughs> he did, went through quite the transition between that. And here comes the boss. The owner of the Sarlacc Money Pit. Willie Aroma. Also, if you haven't checked out 8-Bit Saga, please do. You can find that on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, Audio Boom, anywhere you find your podcast. You can get a great D&D podcast set in the Old Republic universe called the 8-Bit Saga. And it is so good. These are all characters from that series. And if you listen to that series, you'll understand why they look the way they do as far as like Willy Roma with his huge hat. PN15 looking like a pimp. You can find out all of those just by listening to the 8-Bit Saga. Also, guys, I keep I saying say the 8-Bit Saga. Has to be a tremendous thrill. Yes! That'd be cool. And just have like Caleb and uh, Danny in character as Chubrub and uh, Kale. They could do like a uh, kind of like a podcast but they could do it like the show Cops where they're like going to people's houses and stuff they could just do like funny sound effects or like tell cop stories here we go the fatal four-way begins the winner of this match moves on to be the number one contender to face either sawbone or space jesus whoever wins tonight the second you let your oh, immediately PN15 with that a crazy power bomb outside the ring. Any one of these four competitors can win this. Fry Gary working on Willie Roma. Neckbreaker from Mark Kenobi. Guys, I don't remember the last time I heard a crowd as loud as this one in Raleigh. And he hits the axe handle. Crowd is pretty quiet, actually. And he comes crashing down. There you go, Mark Kenobi putting on a clinic with PN15. Willie Roma has not put an end. Oh, there you go. There's his first offensive move this whole round. Oh, taking it to the outside. Fry Gary gets knocked down by Willie Roma. Willie Roma's got the upper hand now. Since he's got him outside, what's he going to do? Seems like he's going to work on his leg. All the while, PN15 looks like he's going to try for a pinning maneuver. Oh, no. He works on Kenobi's stomach. Holy shit. Floop him across the ring like a spider monkey. <laughs> PN15 puts up some offense against Mark Kenobi. Both men come out of that hurt. But Mark Kenobi a little bit more. But no, he shakes it off and punches PN15 right in the stomach. Fry Gary looking for a weapon. 
He found a bat. Oh my god, and he got Willie Romo right in his big fat fucking head. Very quickly. I definitely admire his style in the ring. Frag Gary throws Willie Roma into the ring. First person to get a pin wins. So it might be worth it to isolate their opponent. Oh, Fry just deadlifts Willie Roma. PN15 going up. Yeah, it's too early for that. PN15 going to the top, though, for Mark Kenobi. Oh, Swanton. Fry Gary hyping up the crowd. Nobody stopped PN15. Fry Gary had every chance in the world, but he didn't. PN15 gets the win, and he is your new number one contender for the Saga Championship. That's kind of out of nowhere. I really did not expect PN15 to win that match. But after that senton, though, I would say he, he that was that was his savior right there. That's what got him the win. One, two, three. Gary was just too busy. Next week, we're going to see PN15 versus the winner of later tonight's championship. That's coming up. Yeah, that did fill fast. That was the only non-championship match of the night. Here we go. Speaking of... We have the Saga Galaxy Championship with Gene Space Jesus and Sawbone. Taking on some tough competition. High stakes, don't miss it. Let's go back to my back scratcher now. Back scratcher cam. Ah, yeah. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Yes. It's so, it feels so good. You don't even know. Ah, I love this thing. Shout out to my back scratcher. <laughs> All right. Let's get this party started. One ball. It is for the heavyweight of prestigious honor championship. Who's Blue John Cena? That's Sawbone from the 8-Bit Geek Universe, which is played by Ed. And Space Jesus is B, Brendan from 8-Bit Saga. I really hope 2K19 has more options as far as the entrances and, like I said, the universe mode, man. I would love a revamp of it just to make it even more stories and everything like that. I think we could have a lot of fun with it. Listen to the lyrics in this. They're not very good. Blowing out the light. Byron is the not, it's not a fire. Here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. Likely. Hmm. Will Sawbone retain? 
or will Space Jesus taste the title for the first time? Merry Christmas, everyone. He's getting them hyped. Cena's got them waiting. Or Saba. He's really got him waiting. There we go. There we go. Your current 8-bit Saga champion, Sawbone. Putting the putting the title back to its original original look. Fry Gary kind of ruined it with some spray paint when he had it. He thought it was enhanced. Yo, what up, C Pepper24? How are you? Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, I can see that, Pepper. Hi. Sorry, there's a delay. There's like a 10 second delay on what happens between the chat and everything. Let's go! So who do we got here, everyone? We got Space uh, We got Space Jesus versus Sawbone for the 8-Bit Saga Championship. Who's your pick? Sawbone is the current champion. Space Jesus is number one contender. He was giving a shout out to the... 3D podcast over here. Yeah! Sea Pepper, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the party. If you're not in already in our Discord, go ahead and join our Discord too. That's where the party's really at. We're always available on there. Well, one of us is. So yeah, join that. Jump in that link. Weighing in at 270 pounds, the chosen one. Ace Jesus. I didn't realize I named him that. <laughs> Introducing the champion from out of this world, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the heavyweight of prestigious honor champion, <laughs> the assassin. There you go, Saba, I'm looking proud, holding that title. One last week in the tournament. Went through t three tough matches to win that championship, too. All in one night. There we go, that's what they're fighting for, folks. Let's get this party started. And here we go. Who's going to get the first one? No, Space Jesus charged. Oh, and throws Sawbone over his head. Kicks him right in the back. Space Jesus taking early control of this match. Oh, no, but Sawbone reverses it and gets a fireman's carry. Oh. Head scissors with a little elbow on the forehead there. Especially with those elbow pads. That's going to hurt. It's going to do some extra damage to Space Jesus. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Going way up, top rope, high rent district. Oh, no, he's calling He's calling for him to get up. He's going to try to get him when he's standing up. Oh, Space Jesus catches him. Oh, puts him on his shoulders and chokes him on those ropes. Good catch by Space Jesus. Oh. Hard strike from Space Jesus. Space Jesus taking his chance, going up to the Looking second rope. Once again, calling Sawbone, looking to finish this. Did you see oh, you double axe handle. Far from a finisher. <laughs> oh, but this could be a finish. What is this? Ooh. Watch out. That was power on top of more power. What a slam. Space Jesus doing some praying in between matches. Oh. He's gotten full control of Sawbone right now. Sawbone's going to have to work. No, Sawbone gets a hard right. Another he's forearm. Him that he's here. Irish whips against the ropes. Oh, and they miss each other. Oh, using that turnbuckle. One, two, three, four, five. 
Crowd joining in, trying to keep up. Space Jesus is down. Whoa! Space Jesus was playing possum that time. B picks him up. Oh! Sawbone reverses with a hard right. Oh, a hard right uppercut. Drops him down with an axe handle of his own. Sidewalk slam. A bone crunching backbreaker. Or backbreaker. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You got He's gonna choke him on those ropes eventually. now too. Make him pay back. From earlier when Space Jesus caught him. Drops the elbow on him. Oh. For that one. Like a straight up hand. choke. He can get away with it because it is an Extreme Rules match. Oh, where's Sawbone going to go? He's in a submission. Oh, Sawbone was able to reverse it. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Rope breaks do not count in an Extreme Rules match. No matter how the WWE enforces it. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? Oh, here we're going way up, going for the suplex. Oh god, that's a super flex. Oh my god, he dropped him his, his head on that turnbuckle. Oh my god. This could be all she wrote. Blue thunder bomb coming from Sawbone. Can he end it here? What's he gonna do? Sawbone's looking to finish this. Oh no, but Space Jesus comes back with a lariat. Can he end it quickly? Just a one count. Sawbone is still pretty fresh. Oh, hard punch to the ribs. Hard right from Sawbone to B. Irish whip to the turnbuckle. Oh, return from the kick from B. Space Jesus with the suplex. Oh, it's not letting you join? Weird. Oh, that could be it. That could be it. Oh, two and a half. Space Jesus almost got that win with a surprise finisher. Can someone get C Pepper a fresh link for Discord, please? That was like a rocket. Meanwhile, Space Jesus is up and around getting his second wind. He's now working on Sawbone's leg. Oh, Rod drops him right on that knee. Thanks, Ryan. Here. This match is all but over. Oh, oh, Sawbone he's reverses. Reverse but now he still gets thrown back into it. The champ looking absolutely defeated right now. Oh. It just doesn't appear to be the champ's night. This has got to be yeah, incredibly dude. disappointing for him, guys. Remember, he's already executed two finishes. Oh, Sabo reverses. Neither served their purpose. And now oh, back drop. The end of his rope. We've reached an incredibly vital point in this match, guys. It'll be interesting to see if Sabo's got to finish this up. Same amount of respect he's become known for oh. down the stretch here. He's hyped. He's getting those clotheslines. Oh, high drop kick. And starts coming together. Oh boy, he is rolling. Looking for a repeat. Blue Thunder Bomb once more. Man, looked like the champ was down and out for a moment there, but lands on the back, elbow drop to the back. Yeah, welcome to the party, C Pepper. Right here. No Not Oh, high knee from Space Jesus. Go for that pin. Gets the shoulder up Ooh, almost two. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Kick to the back. No, there's the reversal. Oh, Space Jesus reverses from Sawbone. Just making his Sawbone is dazed. There. He's getting his body rubbed up against that rope. Space Jesus is pissed. Oh, Space Jesus setting up for the finisher. Here we go. Oh, time. there you go. That's got to be it. He's holding the rope, too, which is perfectly legal. Two... Three, your winner and a new champion, Space Jesus. First time. Wow. That was a good back and forth match too. 
Congratulations go out to Space Jesus for winning his first title. The 8-Bit Saga Championship. Face Jesus. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling Hold on. fashion. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. What a match. And a quick thank you to everybody for spending part of their Christmas with us here at the WWE. Sorry, I had to get a picture of that. All right, moving on. The championship is Here we go, our triple threat for the women's championship. Your current champion, Olga, who won it last week in the ladder match, is going up against two former champions. Deb, the current former, or the, the first former champion, and Ants, one of the longest reigning women's champions. Both from Brainberry Tarts, Olga from Missed Connections. You can find us all on the 8-Bit Geek Network. If you go to www.the8bitgeek.com, it'll take you everywhere you want to go for every podcast. You got Divas, Dropkicks, and Dives, The 8-Bit Geek, 8-Bit Saga, Brainberry Tarts, and Garbage Day. All kinds of good stuff for any kind of listener. Something for everyone. Who do we have in this match, folks? I'm sticking with Olga. I think Olga's going to retain. She definitely has the height advantage. <laughs> All right, let's get this party started. Going with ants. Ryan's got ants. Safe bet. Safe bet. Speaking of. It's all about family. And tuna fish sandwiches. Here we go. Ants chick. Love it. It gets me every time. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity. Oh, she almost hit the banister that time. But there truly is none better in all She cares nothing about the fans and hitting them. They better stay out of her way. Well, this is what she's been working so hard for, an opportunity at the goal. Yeah, but earning an opportunity at the goal and actually winning are two completely different things, which I'm sure she's about to learn firsthand. <laughs> oh, I love ants. <laughs> so hype. And here comes Debbie Reed, another member of Brainberry Tarts, former champion. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. It could. I mean, like I said, with Space Jesus winning, it's something that no one is ready for. Nobody was ready for Olga to be champion. That was very surprising last week. Than your absolute best. And even then, there's a good chance you're going home empty-handed. And now finally, your women's champion. Oh. I guess the belt matches her outfit. Kind of works with her. And introducing the champion from Moscow, Russia. She is the women's champion. <laughs> yes. That would be amazing. Unfortunately, you can't have run-ins on championship matches. I don't know why, but they do not allow it. WWE right now. 
And guys, I hope Santa was good to you this morning. Oh, he's always good to me, Cole. Though I'm pretty sure Saxton ended up with Cole in his stocking. Every time. This song. This song really fits her. There's the Brainberry title. T Brainberry title. It's on the line. Another triple threat. Anything goes. Extreme rules match here. Oh, who's going to get it first? It's go time, fellas. Oh, we will Debbie gets a suplex on Ants. Really Olga is just going to sit back and wait. And give it Smart out move. Champ Save your today. energy. There will be no room for error for the challenger here tonight. Dev's working on Ants. Elbows to the back of the head. Or the top of the head. Olga just walking around. Oh, nope. There you go. Olga meets Debbie. Sidewalk slam. Well, we've seen it hurt tonight. There must be serious injuries. Take a moment to discuss M. What can our oh. viewers expect from this woman? Come on, Michael. Many a challenger has come this far only to be humiliated. Hard punches. Ant's trying to help Olga, but just because gets in the way. Oh, my God. Olga just runs her right over. Olga's in control early on. Oh, there you go. Ants returns she it. Gives her a hard strike. Olga goes rolling out of the ring. Look at her here. It's she back to Ants and to Debbie. Mockery of her opponent. Debbie going against the ropes. Oh, kicks Ant right on her inner thigh. Oh, we're going for an exploder. Oh. No. oh. Bad way now. This could be it. And she's back oh, no. Now. Olga runs back in. Ants breaks it up. Business as usual. Olga picks up Ants. Ants reverses into a DDT. Well played, Ants. Ants is going for a weapon like she always does. And she finds a table underneath the ring. Slides it. Here we go. Back and now the nobody's ring. in the ring with her. And she's kind of confused. <laughs> oh! Olga with a stomach, belly-to-belly to belly suplex. She's got to remember her championship dreams are on the line here. Not surprising. Oh, when you're in the ring with two of the Debbie's able to block it. Roster, you're going to take a few lumps. That's oh, working on that arm. Slowing down here a bit. Oh, doesn't mean it's the end wow. Of the for her. Debbie's on fire right now. She wants that title back. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry. What are we doing? Oh, she's going to choke her on those ropes. Right in the Olga was ready. Oh, and she has an and so was Debbie. One. Debbie reverses it. Oh, hard right. Two hard rights. Gets blocked. With a big counter. Kick to the stomach. Oh, knee to the she head. Starting to slow down a bit here. But you can bet she won't let this golden opportunity slip away now. Yeah, but I wouldn't count her out yet. And oh, just throws her. Match. Going for that pin. Didn't have to dig very just a one. one. What a kick out. She is on fire. <laughs> Oh, uh, Deb working her way out. Punches the stomach. Oh, but Ants goes right for Debbie. And now she's going to go for Olga. No, she's too quick. no, but Olga was able to reverse it this time. Had enough of her shit and clotheslined her. Oh, headbutt. Oh, another headbutt. The match is starting to take a toll. On the number one contender. She's absolutely surprised the table hasn't come into play yet. You know, being in the ring with two oh, Russian leg sweep. Oh, perfect form. But can oh. she follow up? Hey, what goes up? Must Another be exploder. Coming back from that. This could be it for her. Deb's looking to finish this. She's got the shoulders down. Wait, are we sure that two count. Three? Olga barely kicks out. Ants is working her way back up to her feet. Oh, she's going for that disarmer. Oh, and he gets broken up by Ants. If Olga would have tapped, that would have been it. Debbie and Ants. Oh. Oh. oh guys, I really thought we would have seen the finisher already.
She's calling for it. Here we go. Answer the second rope. Hurricane Rana. And they're both rolling to the outside. Ants looking for another weapon. She needs to find a way to get to her oh, she finds his chair. Is she going to use that chair on Olga? Oh, but Olga takes it away from her. Hard punch to the back. Oh, she's going for a big power bomb. Oh, her head landed on that chair. This could be it. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Oh, Ant's head landed on that chair. She is out cold. Olga retains the title. Man. Let's see a replay of that. Classic coming in with the zing. <laughs> Here we go. Watch that. Oh, you can't see from that angle, but her head landed on that chair and she was out cold. Well, and still champ. Let's go to the next match in your main event for the night. The wait is over. This one's for Here we all go. The marbles, and it's coming up next. This is a triple threat match for the 8-Bit Geek World Championship. Currently held by Mike from Divas Dropkicks and Dives. He's going to be going against Kevin WK and Ryan. We're going to see what happens. Triple threat. Anything goes. It's anyone's game in this one, man. Everyone's got a 33 and a third chance of winning. Except you take my 33 and a third and you give it, you, because Ryan knows he can't beat me. So that gives me 66 and two thirds chance, while Mike only's got a 33 and third chance. <laughs> the numbers don't lie, Samojo, and they spell disaster. Mike for the win, boo Ryan. Oh, damn. Ryan, I pick you. <laughs> All right, let's get this main event going. Are you ready? And here comes Ryan, first one to come out. He wanted to be the first one. That way he could set up his pyro in the ring before everything started. He was the one sneaking around in the hoodie. It's a big time opportunity, Byron. Is the title nice. Well, don't tell Olga right that here. classic. Judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see Ryan is a former world champion. The only one who hasn't won a championship here is Kevin WK, who he's won the tag titles with Mike, but we have not seen him with a singles title. Michael, and for his sake, I hope he's ready because I assure you, these opportunities don't come around very often. Ryan actually let uh, Jeremy and Doug borrow his pyro earlier, so that's why it was out there. So it's back out here for Ryan. This is my boy. Here we go. He's promptly letting the crowd know that he wants them to suck it. Suck it, suck it, suck it. And then it was that extra pyro. He wasn't ready for that. Yeah, Ryan's really good at that game. And 
encourage Kevin. <laughs> There we go. And the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match Bull. right here. <laughs> and before I forget, allow me to wish I will not use a strategy guide for that. And here comes your champion. From Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 300 pounds. I root for whoever you want. I'm rooting for Ryan. <laughs> the champ is here. <laughs> Look at this guy. Ended up with Cole in his stocking. There you go, holding the eight mid geek championship. Mike's held the title for a little over a month now with a few title defenses. And here we go. It's floating in the referee's hands. He is using the force to hold that belt. Oh, Kevin's hyped. Mike, ready to go. Ryan, determined as always. Who's going to start the first fight? Kevin goes right for okay, Ryan. This match going. Take out the strongest link first. Mike goes directly for Kevin. No, Kevin reverses it, gets him to a headlock. Is he going to do anything with it? No, he lets Mike go. Oh, but he picks him up and slams Mike down. Kevin punches Ryan. Irish whip to the ropes. Ryan missed. Kevin, what? Oh! He a hard clothesline. Heavy clothesline. Man, what Kevin's on fire early on. For those who are unfamiliar with him, what can they anticipate out of him here? We can spend oh. all night, but this is really going to come down to who wants it more. There's no question. Tonight is a big night for him. Gangy. And he knows it. Oh, Kevin going up to the second rope. He's lining him up. Oh, Mike doesn't give him the chance and just drags him down by his leg. Severe. Now Mike working on Ryan. Oh, and slams him right down. Mike and Ryan going out. Oh, Ryan does a flip to uh, get it. Kevin's resting. Oh, Ryan goes right for Kevin. Kicks him right in the head. Mike's coming back in the ring. Ryan going to get Kevin in a powerbomb. Oh, hard powerbomb. Oh, Ryan with a hurricane run at a mic. Ryan is on fire now. <laughs> what happened there? Kevin hurt himself. I don't know what the fuck happened there. But he clearly injured himself. Oh, shit. Go, Ryan. Go, Ryan. <laughs> You can bet he's the envy of so many in the locker room. Ryan, get back in that ring. Say it, but if he doesn't change his game plan soon, these two guys are going to tear him limb from limb. He's certainly in a tough Mike and Kevin going at it. Oh, Mike time. flips Kevin over. It's not like his opponent is running away with this thing. Well, at least not Ryan with the reversal. Doesn't capitalize. The ref gets right in the middle and ruins it. Momentum oh, stomach. Here. Mike trying to and close this out. Not e barely a one count. Kevin waking it up. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. Paying off the ref. Well, I can't control anything, so nice I can only hope. Oh, running knees from Mike. Kevin goes rolling outside the ring. Mike continues to work with Ryan. Oh, Ryan scissor kicks him. Oh, body splash from Ryan to Mike. This could be Ryan's chance to become champion again. No, not even a one. Oh. Oh, Ryan knew Kevin was coming. Oh, this is his finisher on Kevin. That could be it. Mike is out. 
Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. That's all right, Cole. He's oh, making man. A statement here with this attack. These guys. Oh, this is it. Oh, Kevin is knocked out. Now that's what I call making Ryan immediately working on Mike. Being proactive. Oh, just kicking the shit out of Mike in that corner. Mike is hurting. Oh, what's Ryan doing? Oh, drop kick to Mike's head. He's always ready for a fight and has seen his fair share of wars in WWE. This championship match is just a oh, roars. <laughs> this could be it. Oh, man. I mean, two count. He so waited too long to pin Kevin. Very nice. And Ryan is pissed now. What's going on? I can't see because the ref's in the way. Oh, I didn't know if Mike was still getting up. Oh, really thought the champ would have put this match away. Kevin is taking the brunt of all the damage. Ryan is handing it out. Go for that pin. And the champ kicks it looked like the ref was going to be hitting me three times. Oh, oh Ryan getting his jaw broken by Mike. Mike with a hard slam down. Mike's looking to finish this. Kevin's slowly working his way to the ropes to get up. Oh, Mike with that finish. Oh, Mike retains. Kevin was, Kevin was just couldn't get himself up, and Ryan just fell, fell prey to that move. He was heading Kev for sure. Well, there you go. Mike retains. He is still your champion. Nice, and that's the one. If Kevin would have got fast enough, he could have broke it up. But your current champion, and still, and Mike still from Divas champion, Dropkicks and Dives. And that's the win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance that was the main event, event Michael Cole. We're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. This is the main event. Let me get this picture. Save that. All right. Saving some pictures from my next Instagram post. <laughs> well, that seemed to be our show tonight, guys. We've got people who retained, people who lost titles. Man, it's been a pretty cool night. Uh, we got 14 days until All In. So, man, shit is getting real, folks. Uh, I'm going to try to stream a lot more because we're getting closer to that date. So be ready. Make sure you hit that follow button. Make sure you subscribe and all that fun stuff. Like, comment, subscribe on my videos. I do. I've been streaming like the last three days I've been streaming. So with that said, though, love you all. Uh, we're going to stream a lot more soon. And see you next week on 8-Bit Brawl.